For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace, and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11. We all know that this verse of the scripture is one of the popular verses of the scriptures. So many of us have even inscribed it upon our hearts as a clear reminder to us every day of our lives. It is highly expedient that we have the understanding that God cares so much for us, and that even before we were convinced, He had already made a plan for us and we must also understand that the plans God has for us are not evil plans but all the plans God has for us are much more better than every plans we can make for ourselves. Due to the popularity of this scripture, so many of us have unfortunately begun to interpret the scripture in whatever we choose to and this is very bad because we need to understand what God wants us to know from this particular scripture. If you had studied the previous chapter before this chapter, you would understand that this verse was pronounced at a time when the children of Israel were in desperate need of help from God. Then you would also agree with me that this scripture does not clearly say that God was going to rescue the Israelites from their hardship, neither did it say God was going to help them. But this verse clearly tells them that even in the midst of their struggles and trials, God will be with them and he will definitely make a way for them to prosper. Presently, we may be suffering from various forms of challenges and even unpleasant circumstances. We need to embrace this scripture because even though it is not a promise of immediate rescue from hardships and trials, but it is a beautiful promise to us that God has a plan for us and that even though we are experiencing the worst of all situations, God is definitely going to work through our present situations and help us to prosper even in the midst of it all and also give us a beautiful life and future. This verse is one of the most often quoted verses on the Bible, but then when we truly dive into the deeper context of human history and also the scriptures that surround this verse, we will also understand that this means so much more than we can comprehend. We need to understand that God is a good God and that he will continue to give us strength and grace to triumph over every unpleasant circumstances in life. We need to always understand that God is always in control of whatever happens to us we need to understand that God is in charge of every one of our situations and even us can attest to the fact that time without time, God has come through for every one of his children. Although God's plans for us to prosper may not match our own definitions, but then we must understand that God's plans are always bigger, better and even more glorious than every of our plans put together. Due to the popularity of this verse, so many people have missed the real meaning of this verse. It is true that we may all know the words in this verse, but then, how many of us know how to apply these words in our daily lives? Now let's take a closer look at this verse. For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace, and not of evil, to give you an expected end. One of the major mistakes we make regarding this scripture is that we often believe that this verse is God's personal promise to us, and that it has a wonderful and great plan for just us. Now here is the problem some people have interpreted this verse to mean that God has already designed their lives for them and that they have nothing to be worried about because they only need to work in obedience to God. Another set of people have interpreted this verse to mean that God has promised them so much wealth and also perfect health. And so when they are lacking in any of these ways, they feel as if it is due to their lack of faith. We need to understand that this verse is not a me-entered verse. It is all about what God can do and what God will do. The book of Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11 was written to real people with real problems. We need to understand that God promised to be with us even when we are in difficult times and even when we cannot understand what is happening in our lives, God is in control even when it does not look like it. This is a verse that promises hope to all those that are still struggling. It is a clear assurance that even when we face difficulties in life, God is faithful and he will bring us through our problems. Then the book of Romans chapter 8 verse 31 also says what shall we then say to these things? If God is for us who can be against us? Absolutely nothing we need to understand that even when the wicked ones are planning evil for us because God is by our sides we have absolutely nothing to be afraid of. God is faithful and he will surely lead us through the storms we may be facing right now. Let us back up a little bit and look at this scripture our soul waited for the Lord. He is our help and our shield, for our heart shall rejoice in him, because we have trusted in his holy name.
Let thy mercy, O Lord, be upon us according as we hope in the Psalms 33 verse 20 through 23. All things will definitely work out well for all those who trust in the Lord, even though it may not happen the way we want it to, but be rest assured that it will surely happen better than we could have ever anticipated it to. As Christians, we may be facing difficult challenges, but today, I want us to understand that we can always take solace in the knowledge that God God will help us and that even though he may not immediately rescue us from our hardships, but then, we must understand that God has a plan for our lives regardless of our current situations. He can surely work through it to make us prosperous and give us hope. Here is another verse one want us to take a look at. Fear thou not for I am with thee, be not dismayed for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee, yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10 I need you to understand that irrespective of what you are going through, God is by your side to help you overcome them all. You need not do anything all you have to do is to trust in the name of the Lord and also rest upon all the promises of God. Every day of our lives we need to understand that God is with us and that he will never leave us neither will he forsake us trust in the Lord always because he will never fail you. Thou tells my wanderings, put thou my tears into thy bottle. Are they not in thy book? Psalms 56 verse 8. So many of us have felt so much burdened and even discouraged about serving God just because of the light crosses that has been placed upon our shoulders. But then, we need to remember that the apostles suffered much worse than we can ever imagine, and yet they did not give up on God. We are humans, and so we all have the great tendency of wanting to despond even in the face of small sorrows and afflictions, and because of this we need to check ourselves. When you learn how to console yourself even in every of your fears and sorrows, God will definitely come through for us. You need to understand that God is not ignorant to all our ignorance, and even our griefs. Truly He has a book in which He writes down all that makes us feel sorrowful, and he also has a bottle in which he fills with the tears from our eyes. He fills all the tears we shed, both the tears for our afflictions and even the tears of our sins into his bottle, and he continues to observe them even with tender concerns. As a true believer of the Son of God, you can boldly say even without no iota of doubt that God is our refuge, and that we can never be afraid of whatever man has to do to us because we are confident that God will help us. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, we want to thank you for making the perfect plans in our lives. Thank you because all the plans you have for our lives are plans of good and not of evil. Thank you for always protecting us even while you continue to lead us in the ways we should go. Even we know that we may not always understand your plans for our lives. Even when we do understand the way we should go, we have no cause for alarm because you are always by our sides. We thank you for your perfect master over our lives. Dear Lord, we pray that you will please teach us how to bend every of our wills and to obey only your will. We pray that you will help us to not just discover and understand your will and your guidance, but we pray that you will please help us to obey every of your will. We pray that you will please open our ears so that we will be able to listen carefully to every of your commandments, help us to be able to understand all that you want us to do, and also grant us a willing heart to carry every of your directives. Father, we know that your wisdom seems so different from the wisdom of the world, and so we pray that you will please help us to follow your wisdom, even when we do not understand what it means. Dear God, we pray that you will please help us to always speak what you want us to say and to do only what you want us to do. Thank you, dear God, because we know that you have rescued us from sin. We pray that you will please protect us from making sinful choices. So many times we become very uncertain of what we should do, we pray that you will always show us your ways even when we do not know the right way to turn to. Please teach us your path so that we will walk in it every day of our lives. We pray that you will guide us every day of our lives. We confess that right from the moments that we wake up, and even up until when we lay our heads, our hope will be found in you alone, dear God. We pray that you will teach us how to be obedient to every of your wills and your mandate, and please help us to set our goals on you alone. Dear God, most times when we think about your goodness and faithfulness upon our lives, we just cannot seem to remember what we did to deserve your love. When we look upon our lives, we feel nothing but utmost gratitude to you. We cannot seem to remember what we did to get ourselves on the right track, but Lord, forever we will remain grateful to you, even for all the trials and temptations that comes our ways. 
Thank you for all the errors that we have made because you have helped us to learn important lessons from them all. We know that our lives is far from being perfect at this present time but we are still thankful to you because it is working and we know that you are going to make our lives better. We love the fact that you love us and that you will always be here with us even until the end of all ages. Heavenly Father, once again we have come before your awesome presence to magnify your holy name and to praise you for all that you have done in our lives. Thank you dear God because you have been so good and merciful to us and our loved ones and we know that being alive today is a big blessing to us. We pray that you will please have your way in our lives. We pray that you will forgive every of our known and even unknown sins. Thank you, because you are more than worthy of every of our praise. Dear God, we thank you over again for all that you have done in our lives and even for all the things that you still continue to do in our lives. Dear God, if not for your grace and mercy, we know that we would have been long consumed and even condemned. We pray, dear God, that you will please heal us financially and also grant us your divine protection. Dear God, we pray that you will please grant us your faith to always trust in you even when we are discouraged and weary. Please always inspire us to trust in your great promises. Please give us courage even when our faith wavers. Please always help us to understand and obey every of your words, no matter how challenging our situations may seem or even how discouraged we may feel. Thank you, dear God, because you are good and your mercies endureth forever. Dear God, thank you because you know every of our struggles. Thank you because you notice every of our grievances. Thank you because you have a book for recording our tears and observing them with your deepest concerns. Thank you because we can boldly say you are our helper. Thank you because we cannot fear what a mere man can do to us because you are by our side. Thank you because your vows are upon us but not as a burden to us but as a bridle that restrains us from what should hurt us and also to direct us in the way of our duties. Dear God, with our sincerest thankfulness we pray for your mercies we pray that you will please deliver our souls from death which we know that it is the wages of sin. We pray that you will please help us to aim all our expectations and desires from sins and troubles so that we will be able to do better in serving you. Father, we ask that you will please perfect the good work which you have started in our lives and please keep us from all appearances of sins. Teach us how to serve you without fear. Because your grace has delivered us from death and we have confidence in you that you will bring us by your mercies into heaven so that we will be able to work forever in your presence before you and in your light. Thank you, dear God, because the plans that you have for us are for good and not for harm. Thank you because even though disasters will come to us, we can always trust you to guide us through it all. We are so grateful to you, God, because you can turn every of our challenges for your glory and also for our good. Thank you, dear God, because even though our prayers are big or small, you still hear them all. Thank you because you receive every of our promises and you always answer them in your perfect timing and in your own way. We confess that we are transitioning from the ordinary to the extraordinary in our walks with God eagerly embracing the fellowship of Christ's sufferings. We were raised above the powers of this world through Jesus, therefore we triumph victoriously. We confess that we are filled with the resurrection power of God and nothing can stand against us in our household. Nothing will ever fail or die in our hands. In the name of Jesus, we declare that from this moment until the end of today, our eyes shall see no evil, our ears shall hear no evil. Our hands shall touch no evil in Jesus' name. We decree that everything from the kingdom of darkness that has made it their business to hinder me, we bind them in the mighty name of Jesus. We bound you with chains that cannot be broken. Dear God, we pray that you will please be merciful to us because we are sinners. We confess that our souls trust in you alone and even in our utmost dangers, all our calamities will pass. But right now, through prayer and faith, we take refuge in your love and grace. Thank you, dear God, because even though you are the most high God, you still condescend so low so that you will take care of all that concerns us. Dear God, we have great reasons to be thankful to you. We know that it is by your grace that we are being brought into this composed frame of mind. We know that you are always making things work together for our good. Thank you, dear God, because you have perfect plans for our lives and even regardless of our current situations, you will definitely work through it to prosper us and give us hope. Thank you, dear God, for it is in Jesus' glorious name we have prayed. Amen. If you have found this devotion helpful in any way, then kindly like and share this video so that others can be blessed by it too.
Do not forget to also like and subscribe to this channel and please leave us a comment. Remain blessed.